1978, I became pastor of the Second Baptist Family in Houston, Texas. I'd been on television, the First Baptist Church, Columbia, South Carolina, for almost six years. It was a live telecast, and that's a challenge. And every Sunday, I would get up, and I would preach, and it would go out all across South Carolina, little neighboring areas. In fact, First Baptist Church, Columbia, was one of the first churches in America to have their TV service broadcast there, the worship service live, every Sunday morning, because the man who owned the station had to be a member of the church. He said, I want my church to be on television. So I inherited that when I went there. So I knew something about the importance of television ministry. People many times would come to church, and the first contact they had with us was we watched on television. So I saw an opportunity to take the good news of Jesus Christ and the Bible into homes of people, some who were unable to go to church and some who just didn't go and some who listened and began to go. They would check us out, as they say so many times. So when I came to Houston, uh, the little church here was running 300 or so, and they didn't even think about television that time. But a manager of a TV station, Houston, Texas, that time Channel 39, was a member. And he said, you know, we may work out something for you. Very little Christian broadcasting locally at that time. And so he cut out 30 minutes on Channel 39 that I would, it was on Monday, Monday morning, I would go down and tape it. I'd preach Sunday, I'd go down Monday morning, they'd put me in a studio, nothing bad there but a camera and a cameraman, and I would stand before that and take the Bible, read it, and speak for 30 minutes. That's how we started. And people began to watch and comment, people began to give money and funds. The church saw the, the vision for television, so we began to expand from that little innocent beginning to the ministry that God has given us. Media is important, and we use it, I hope, with integrity to get the good news out to the hungry, broken world to give comfort and to give counsel and to challenge and to build in the lives of people, hopefully, God's truth for life. We call it the winning world.